What is the crack lads and welcome to this incredible 200,000 GP squad builder. I personally think this is one of the best starting squads that you can pick for eFootball 2022 Dream Team. You've got 200,000 at your disposal if you were a brand new player to the game. If you've never played eFootball before, if you've never played PES before, you can't go wrong with this starting squad. I think, as I said, I think it's one of the best starting squads that you could possibly put together for 200,000. So we're going to jump straight in to Dream Team and get underway. We're going to get all the rewards. Just keep clicking through on this and then you'll be able to press start up in the top right hand corner to get all your rewards and all your money and all everything to get all your GP to start us off on this. So once you've got all these claimed, I think it comes in at around 202,500 GP. So that is going to be more than enough to get this squad underway, including the manager. These are the default players. I mean, you're not going to want to keep these. I mean, none of them 63 rated overall. The same with the coach. I mean, he's got no coach and affinity. You're going to get no bonuses out of him. So we're going to start by getting a manager. So we're going to be getting this man here that's actually in the thumbnail, Mr. Arteta himself. We're going to be doing all these filters. So all the players that I'm going to have in here, I'll leave the names, the clubs and how to search from in the link in the description below, just that you'll be able to follow along yourselves and you can do it. I've obviously sped it up for the, the sake of this video. We're going to go in here and filter the coaches and we're going to be going for a coach that has a boost to young players because this squad is going to be under 24 as well so that you get all the experience points up by increased by 100%. So any player that you have in your team that's 24 and under is going to get a 100% increase to his experience earned from games or training when they do are under playing under Mikel Arteta. So as I said here, we're going to be playing a possession game, but you can also switch to out wide. So again, I think Arteta is the best option for starting players as well because he gives both options that you can just mix and match. And getting a manager to do your play style or to suit your play style is huge because you can't upgrade that yet from what I know. You can only upgrade players, which we'll show you at the end. So first up, we're going to go with our goalkeeper. Now, I want to splurge out a little bit and spend about 20k on Fenerbahce's goalkeeper, Bayandir. So we're going to have a pop in here, and I'm just going to go through the first bit by searching, and then you guys are going to have to search from here on in with yourselves. As I said, the names of the players will be up on the screen. This guy is an absolute monster, right? He's 198, which is massive in terms of goalkeepers. It's huge under high balls, and he's also got his player skills really locked down as well. He's got low punt, he's got long throw, and he's got a penalty saver player skill as well. He's just got really nice stats, lads. He's under 24 as well. He's only 23 years of age. And he just looks like an absolute unit. I've played a couple of games with him on this profile. And he is, you know, he hasn't let me down yet. He's made no mistakes. Next up, we've kind of, we've got this guy, Smith. So Smith has bounced around a couple of teams. He was with Liverpool, I think, for a bit. And a couple of loan teams as well. He is actually in the MLS. He's with Washington, if I do remember correctly. I think he's a national player as well for Australia. Again, a really solid left back that's not going to break the bank. He's one of the cheapest players, if not the cheapest players, on this squad builder. So to bring the price down, we're going to have to make a couple of sacrifices. He's under 5,000 GP, so that's why he's here. And also with our right back, Trupe. So again, this guy plays for 20 over in FC 20 in the uh, Dutch League. And again, he's only five and a half thousand or five three or something like that GP. You'll see it in the in the link below anywhere. I might even put it up on the screen here as a little. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway because you're going to have enough to buy all these players with this squad if you do exactly what I'm doing on the screen here. Again, he's a very very solid player. He has sixty in possession game for the play style as well, so that helps. But again, he's not going to be, you know, the marquee signing. Will that they'll come in a minute? One of the marquee signings is, is this guy, the Welsh centre back Ampadu. Fantastic player. He's on loan with Venezia at the moment over in Syria. Huge hopes for his future in the Welsh national team as well. And he is an absolute unit. I mean, what we want to be doing, we want to have one kind of like man marking um, center back and one kind of ball winning center back. So you can see his player skills there, aerial superiority, interception, ac acrobatic clearance. Tatibo is going to be his partner in the center backs. So he's going to be a 22 year old from Nice, a very, very good player. I'm sure League One fans will know all about him. And uh, he is an absolute unit as well. You can see his possession game is 60, so you won't need to raise that too much. And this is the guy we're going to have a bit of height. So he's going to be our in the air, taking on any of the target men, like your Jeruz or your Benzmas. He's going to be taking on the challenge of the guys that are playing it in the air and heading everything clear and just being more of a physical presence. He's 190 CM. 
One of the biggest signings of it is going to be Nico Gonzalez. Now, he's about 18,000 GP, the Barcelona man. He's only 19 years of age. But look at the stats here. Before we even trained him up, he's in the mid-70s or low-70s in most of the stats you need for a DMF. You just want to be using this guy as a stopper, right? He's as close as you're going to get to Sergio Busquets, and he's 10 times cheaper when you train him up, right? He's got really good physical contact, really good defensive engagement, and he's just going to sit in the hole with show you at the end. This guy is a bit of a hidden gem, right? So mark my words, this guy is going to be a hidden gem in eFootball for, you know, for starting squads. Medina from Boca Juniors, right? One of the cheapest, he's only 6,500 quid or 6,500 GP. He's just going to be our box to box. So think of him like a cheap version of Kante. That's how we're going to be playing him in our squad. He's 19 years of age, 178. He's got Marseille turn, one touch pass, fighting spirit and soul control. So he's going to be our on the ball center midfielder. Next, we're going to need a bit of pace, right? And a bit of a, a high profile sign in as well, but also keeping it within our budget. And he's quite cheap. It is going to be 5,300 for Manchester United's winger Elanga. So he's burst onto the first star, first team for United at the moment. And you can see his acceleration there without even touching him. He's 67 overall, but he's got 79 acceleration, 76 pace. And he's got that all important AI playing style of speeding bullet and incisive run. So he's going to be huge. Up in, the, up in the ante a little bit, he's one of the, I think he's the second most expensive player on the squad is this guy, the Nigerian Chuck Weze. So again, 22 years of age, he's got the speed, but he's also got the ball control and the dribbling. 79 dribbling, 78 speed, 77 acceleration, balance 73. Trickster, amazing run, speed and bullet. Again, as your playing styles were all the cards there. He is, he's going to be a really, really good player as well, I think, for you guys. Um, and I think I definitely, you know, judge him as one of the best. Next up, we need a man that no, needs no introduction on the Pez scene. It is Harrat as a tackle midfield, the Marseille man. This guy, I mean, is one of the one of the hidden gems of the game. He was last year. He was the year before in my club and the year before that. I think if you get this guy, he's got everything. Look at the amount of player skills that this guy has. Absolutely insane. He's 24 as well. It's very hard to get an attacking midfielder that checks all the boxes under the budget for this squad. He does, and he's only 13,000 GP. David is our next big high-profile signer. Now, this guy is 43,000 GP, right? He's got all the stats that you need in a centre-forward because we're going to be playing kind of like a one-man up front with Harrit just at the back and Alanga kind of really high up the pitch as our winger. So we do need somebody that has a bit of pace, that has good finishing, and is good in the air. So he's not the tallest, he's not the strongest, but he's kind of a mix between everything. And for 43,000 GP... He's an absolute unit. So heading over to our actual squad then, now that we have that done, I think you'll have about 2,000 GP left over after all of that. We're going to head over here and just auto-pick the players by stats, and we're going to make a couple of key changes because Arteta plays by default a flat 4-4-2, right? So we're going to make a couple of changes to this. We're obviously going to go 4-5-1, or we can also go 4 two, three, one, depending on how we want to set up our team, if we want to go deep. For this, this is what I recommend, but again, you can change it. So we're going to bring out the second forward, and we're going to change that to an AMF. We're going to put Harrod up there, and then uh, obviously lets us to bring on our star man, Elanga, on the left. So we'll bring him on there from the substitutes. Now, lads, I recommend, right, playing with this squad for maybe 10, 15 games against the AI and a couple of online to check it out. But, like, you do need a couple of upgrades to here. This is just a starting squad. So you're going to have to be very, very good on the ball and be very patient with your players with this. But these guys can take you a good way. Once you start earning GP and these guys start training up, you will be able to absolute dominate. So we're going to put on a couple of individual instructions for players. We're going to put defensive on Nico Gonzalez. We literally want Nico Gonzalez to sit right in front of the center backs, right? So think of your, you know, your Fabinho's, think of your Cloud Makalele, think of your Sergio Busquets, them type of players. We want him just sitting there, genuinely just sitting there. And also on top of that then as well, we want to be attacking down both sides of the pitch, but we also want to be anchored on our players that we don't want putting forward. So we're going to put Nico Gonzalez anchored, and we're also going to be putting... Um, we're also going to be putting a couple of a couple of attacking 
uh, tactics on our boys as well. So individual instructions both work both ways. So you've got defensive ones, you've got attacking ones, and you can do deep line or you can do whatever that you want with this. Have a mess around with these, see what works for you. But trust me, I would just put Nico Gonzalez as your sitting player, your Cloud Makalele, and I think that he'll just sit in the hole and be able to pick out passes and whatever. So from the last step, we're going to be training up one of our players. So Ampadu is level 70 from the rip. I think this guy is a beast in eFootball. In a couple of games I've come up against him, in a couple of games I've played with him, I'm going to boost him up. Now, you can pick any player that you want to train up here. You get to about level maybe 10 to 15, roughly, depending on the rating of the player. So if you you know were to boost up uh, Smith, your left back, you probably get to level 15. If you were to go with David, your center forward, you get to about level 8 with that 4,000 uh, trainer boost. So this is how you train a player. You pump up the player's stats, and then you pick which stats you want to put it into. Now, this is a very important one as well to bring up your team play style proficiency. We're going to want to put up Ampadus or whatever player that you train up. You're going to want to bring that up into the like low 90s, the higher the better in the 90s, because you want that to overcompensate by boosting this guy's stats up and his proficiency up with the play style to raise the entire squad's average to bring it up past 70. It has to be past 70. So make sure that you don't slip up with that. If you need to go back and look at the video, do, but it is quite it is quite easy to do. Um, and from here, you can put this into anything. Speed, I think speed and acceleration are probably two of the most important here, as you can see that I'm doing. Bring that up as, as high as, as you can go with your points that you've got left. So yeah, whatever player that you want to train up, lads, it's up to ye. Um, you know, if you want to train up a land gap, bring him from a 67 and bring his speed up to like mid 80s so that you have a really good attacking option. You want to improve by and dear, the goalkeeper. You want to improve Ampadu as I'm doing here. The choice is yours. I mean, you're only going to be able to boost up one player without playing any matches. I recommend going in and playing against the AI, doing and completing the AI challenge. And you'll probably be able to rank up maybe like five or six players after that. Plus, playing with this squad, you will also get their XP boosted up with Mikel Arteta. So remember, every game that you play with Arteta as your coach, you are going to be getting a 100% boost on the player's XP that they earn. So that's our final squad, lads. It's all set up there, done and dusted. Let me know what you guys think if you are going to be rocking this. We've got pace, we've got power, we've got defensive uh, proficiency in the middle of the park. We've got our team play style level up to 72. We're going to be getting 100% of a boost to our XP for every single player on this uh, team, apart from Smith, our left back, because it's very hard to get a left back under 24. But that's it, lads. Let me know.